let us understand the acidity of alcohols. Alcohols are very weak acids. Um, the acidic nature of alcohol can be understood by considering a simple equilibrium. ROH, which is an alcohol, will show an equilibrium in which there is alkoxide ion and H plus generated. Um, you know that an alkoxide ion will have negative charge on oxygen and in most of the alcohols this negative charge on oxygen is not easily delocalized. So I may put it like this that negative charge is generally not delocalized or very less delocalization is observed and hence the magnitude of negative charge on oxygen remains more or less the same and because of this very strong negative charge H plus is pulled back and because of which this equilibrium generally remains on left hand side making alcohols weak acids. Generally substituents have different effects on acidity of alcohols for example if I use an electron withdrawing group onto an alcohol connected to an alcohol in that case the negative charge on oxygen is strongly pulled back by the electron withdrawing group the the, the magnitude of negative charge on oxygen decreases and hence acidity increases. So we may write that negative charge on oxygen is reduced by electron withdrawing group therefore acidity increases this is what we write um, what are strong withdrawing groups strong withdrawing groups could be you know NO2 or CN or fluorine etc these are all strong withdrawing groups right let us now understand what would happen when we put an electron donating group on an alcohol. So if you have an alcohol in which we have, uh, you know, there is an electron donating group directly connected to an alkyl chain, then the alkoxide ion having negative charge on oxygen, when it gets formed, the electron density on oxygen is increased by electron donating group. So it increases electron density on oxygen and therefore acidity decreases because if negative charge increases here H plus is vigorously pulled back and thus um, we can take up a simple example to understand this uh, this is let's say a primary alcohol has only CH3 onto it then there is this secondary alcohol just putting it right And then there can be a tertiary alcohol. You know that all alkyl groups are electron donating groups and therefore if you have an alkyl group it would always show plus I effect and because of which what happens um, CH3 donates here both the CS3s donate and then here there are three CS3s donating. So 
here plus i is maximum in tertiary alcohol and minimum in primary alcohol so this is primary this is secondary alcohol and this is tertiary the acidity therefore is primary alcohols are most acidic and tertiary alcohols are least acidic so basically acidity of alcohols uh, you know can be easily predicted and uh, they can be very easily decided so first of all um, this is the first important uh, property that you have to know about alcohols we would take up some other properties in which the acidic nature of alcohols is exemplified